So ASAP Science made this video about will hydroxychloroquine chloroquine be the cure for the coronavirus? And then there's some time after they wrap up the hydroxychloroquine and chloroquine discussion that Mitch speaks about some other thing and, and all of a sudden there's some music that goes like this. If anybody knows what that song is, please let me know. I think it's from probably the Baroque era, definitely made before 1820. So, one interesting thing is about... So, on their certain... So, fun fact, today I actually resubscribed to PewDiePie at about some time... A cup about a quarter after 11 p.m. today. However, to offset this, 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 I've already subscribed to Inspiring Philosophy and What Do You Mean? And maybe I'll also, also subscribe to that person, Cameron Bertuzzi. In fact, we actually. There was actually a Californian motorcycle YouTuber that called named by the name of Rich that uploaded a a video today. Some uh, the only thing I remember is that it had it, the word atheism in the title. I know, however, or when I was receiving that notification, I didn't care because I was currently waiting for the premiere of one of Inspiring Philosophies videos to begin. And one of, one of your options is the Californian YouTuber named Rich, and what and another is 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 inspiring philosophy. You have to pick inspiring philosophy. Of course, maybe you could pick. Of course, if it wasn't an if it wasn't a premiere, I would have still just watch Inspiring Philosophy first, because Inspiring Philosophy takes, um, what is it called? Precedence over Rich. Is there anyone that takes precedence over Inspiring Philosophy? Yes, there is that person, and I think the, the my favorite YouTuber ever, from will please, True Green 7. True Green 7 takes precedence over everyone. So, say if I'm watching a, a video by Critic of Games, which I essentially, literally never do. Ooh, I've well, probably watched a total of zero videos ever made by Critic of Games. Games because it's just the gaming equivalent of that Chinese is food food commentary rate rating food critic Chinese travel person. I'm pretty sure you know who I'm talking about because if you don't know just look up Chinese street food critic I'm sure you'll find something. So I would say if I was watching a video by a Critic of Games, and all of a sudden a True Green 7 video pops up, I'm switching over from Critic of Games to True Green 7. Let's say if I'm watching one uh, a live stream in, conducted by Bible Flockbox, and I get a notification from True Green 7 not about just an ordinary video. So it's just an ordinary video. Oh, the... Oh, oh, and this and that will just be an ordinary video by True Green 7 compared to ooh, a live stream by Bible Flockbox. But I do prefer True Green 7 more. This doesn't make sense. And usually the Muslim. Usually the Muslims and atheists have more sub. I noticed that a lot of times the Muslims like Farid al and Merciful Servant and Ibn al Mujran and, and the atheists like the Bleep Voice, I mean the Amazing Bleep 
the bleep voice doesn't have nearly that much subscribers, have more subscribers than the Christians like The Beat by Alan Parr, by Flockbox. Of course, there are some exceptions, which is Christians that make secular content can also have very high subscriber rates, for example. I think Brianna, I think, I, I consulted Wikitubia, uh, and it said that Preston, Preston Plays was yeah, one, no, and I'm a, so and the, the odd ones out is definitely not an atheist or a Muslim or a Jew because he lives in America and he explicitly says that he's a, a part of no American minorities. Minorities, and guess what? Both atheism and Islam make up minority populations in the U.S. And that person, Rich, he also once said that the Norwegian government is officially atheist. Now, Rich. Now, this Rich person also sounds... And a lot of the content, I think he also owns Critic of Games or something. I just want to make a message to you. If it's in these dark red, like you see Cuba, Vietnam, China, and North Korea, it is currently doing state atheism. If you see it in like this light, somewhat lighter red, it formally at some time in the past has done state atheism. And if you see it just in gray, it has never done state atheism. And a message from war user Jason Street. The six countries you cited, five Nordic and one Japan, none of them are atheist majorities. In fact, I actually have a cat. In fact, I'm actually going to post this on imageflip.com. Um, yes, yes, I will export people. Yes, if someone makes a complete blunder on Quora while rep while making a BS accusation against me of dishonesty, I will I will fully explore right, their hypocrisy on Quora. Makes I mean image flip the meme making site. I imagine I can just imagine the caption. Makes BS accusations against me of dishonesty. Me yeah. calls calls Norway and calls Norway and Japan atheist majority states. In fact, let's go to this. Okay, Google, religion in Finland. Population are members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Finland, 28.5% are unaffiliated, 1.1% are Orthodox Christians, and 0.8% follow other religions like Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, folk religion, etc. See, so it's impossible for or, or, or Finland to be atheist majority, as over 60% of its population is Christian. Okay, Google religion in Norway. These con Evangelical Lutheran Church of Norway. And by the way, Wikipedia, Norway and Denmark Norway are both colored Protestant Christianity, with 69.9% of the population belonging to the Evangelical Lutheran Church of Norway in 2018. The Catholic Church is the next largest Christian church at 3.0%. The unaffiliated make up 17.4% of the population. Islam is followed by 3.3% of the population. So, attention Quora user Jason Street, and yes, I do actually have photographic evidence. If that, uh, insignif if that slightly insignificant YouTuber Rich wants to contact me to receive such photographic evidence, I will gladly provide it. Provide it, even though I don't think that we need multiple people on multiple fronts humiliating someone as insignificant as Jason Street. However, this person also launched a BS accusation against me of dishonesty more than one 
did it a couple times on YouTube and at least once on Quora. So, I'm not going to say this means war because the declaration of war is somewhat of a call for violence and call for violence forbidden by YouTube. It's community guidelines, but until you retract act the accusations of dishonesty in every single one of my videos, I will mention the fact that 6% is not a majority, literally. I consulted several religion pie charts when responding to him on Quora, because Quora, uh, and, I, and, it, and the pie charts that I consulted, it, it said Iceland, less than 6% atheist. Well, they just put the unaffiliated margin at 6%, and since they're and since it's impossible for, for atheists to make up more than the unaffiliated population, and their and agnostics are going to exist in basically every single country except the Vatican, so there's going so atheists will always make up less than one hundred percent of the unaffiliated in the in the population of a country that has unaffiliated mem. Okay, Google religion in Sweden. According to Wikipedia, in 2015, the Eurobarometer found that Christianity was the religion for 47.6% of the respondents, with Protestantism being the main denomination with 36.5%, followed by other Christians with 8.6%, Catholics with 1.6%, and Eastern Orthodox with 0.8%. Okay, Google Islam in Sweden. According to Wikipedia, according to a 2017 report from the Swedish Agency for Support to Faith Communities, there were 170,915 Muslims in Sweden who practiced their religion regularly. This count came from those registered with Islamic congregations. Okay, Google Population of Sweden. 10,230,185. So, Muslims make up more than 1% of Sweden's population. Now, the Christians and Muslims do combine. We also need to remember that there are people who believe, who are theists but don't adhere to any religion. In fact, this makes up 50% of the world's unaffiliated, or roughly 550 million people. And since the unaffiliated in total is 1.1 billion people, that means that atheists and agnostics combined represent 550 million people. And there's no reason to think that. And let's assume the principle of division is in, we c it's safe to say that uh, pop, it, that it's possible that about half of Sweden's unaffiliated still believes in some sort of god, and that half of the remainder is agnostic. Again, this is just applying division. I'm not make, committing the fallacy of division because I said it's possible. I'm not making any claims of certainty. But the only claims of certainty that I have made so far, and they are supported by, by the evidence that I just read to you, is that um, Finland and Norway are not atheist majorities. Okay, Google religion in Denmark. On the website Denmark.dk, they say, in Denmark, 75% of the population are registered members of the Evangelical Lutheran Church. Do you want a little more context? Yes. Yes. Religion and identity. In Denmark, 75% of the population are registered members of the What's Evangelical the Lutheran Islam Church. Going in? But less than a fifth of Danes see themselves as very religious. Christianity has shaped Denmark's culture, and the Danish countryside remains dotted with traditional churches. So yeah, it's impossible for atheism to be, e Denmark to be a majority atheist because it's more than three quarters Christian. And that just, and all that says, it doesn't say that only 
20% of the Danish population is religious, it just says that only about 20% of the Danish population is devout. It's entirely possible to be religious without being devout. It is not how possible to be a religious without be, while being is it is how is impo it is possible to be a religious non devout it is however not possible to be a religious communist there are people that uh, for some that mistakenly think that they are religious communists but she but Karl Marx did not uh, agree with this in fact he straight up bashes religion. Lenin interprets Marxist things as him, and, and Lenin even says that for all of communism's history up until Lenin, yeah. Lenin, it was gen the general consensus was that communism is not compatible with religion, and this was even emphasized. And then we go to China, where Xi actually emphasized this. Okay, Google religion of Xi Jinping. According to Wikipedia, the most recent anti-religious campaign has been instated by current General Secretary of the Communist Party of China, Xi Jinping, who re-emphasized that members of the Communist Party of China must be unyielding Marxist atheists and also instituted a broad campaign to suppress all forms of dissent. Journalist Ian. Okay, Google, define unyielding. Unyielding is used as an adjective to mean of a mass or structure not giving way to pressure, hard or solid, similarly to stiff and inflexible. Do you want to hear unyielding used in a sentence? Religion in Iceland. On the website Iceland.is, they say, Religion, most Icelanders, 80% are members of the Lutheran State Church. Another 5% are registered in other Christian denominations, including the Free Church of Iceland and the Roman Catholic Church. Almost 5% of people practice Asatru, the traditional Norse religion. So that means that more than 90... So that means that almost... That just the traditional Norse religion and... That means that Christianity, it's alone composes over 85% of Iceland's population. Then there's Asatru, which less than 5%. So atheism is actually a, a minority in Iceland's composing less than 10%. Okay, Google Islam in Iceland. According to Wikipedia, Islam in Iceland is a minority religion. The Pew Research Center estimated that the number of Muslims in Iceland was below its 10,000 minimum threshold, and official statistics put the figure at under 1,300, or approximately 0.4% of the total population. Yeah. Okay, Google religion in Japan. On the website japan-guide.com, they say, Shinto and Buddhism are Japan's two major religions, do you want a little more context? Yes. Yes. Shinto and Buddhism are Japan's two major religions. Shinto is as old as the Japanese culture, while Buddhism was imported from the mainland in the 6th century. Since then, the two religions have been coexisting relatively harmoniously and have even complemented each other to a certain degree. I wasn't getting any percentages or demographics, so, okay Google? Religious Demographics of Japan According to Wikipedia, Buddhism and Shintoism are the two major religions in Japan. According to the annual statistical research on religion in 2018 by the Agency for Culture Affairs, Government of Japan, 69.0% of the population practices Shintoism, 66.7% Buddhism, 1.5% Christianity, and 6.2% other religions. There's this major overlap between the religions. For example, there can there is a major overlap. A person can be both religion A and religion B. For example, Shinto and Hindu, who or at least someone can identify as both 
but one cannot be both Shinto and an agnostic as Shinto affirms, affirms the existence of like thousands of gods, while, while agnosticism is the only stance on religion that primitive. Well, technically, well, it isn't a polar stance. It isn't affirmative, but it simultaneously isn't negative. Fun fact about negative, if there are some people like this weird woman and Michael Shermer, or, and unfortunately, you, you, the religious people like gotquestions.org have also bought into this myth that someone religious, I mean, can't prove a negative. However, let me prove this. I can prove that Iran is not red on this map. I can prove that Norway is not red on this map. I can prove that the I can prove that the United States of America is not shaped like a duck. I can prove that Iceland is not shaped like a duck. I can prove that Australia is not shaped like a dog, and I can prove that that the Americas, as a general, are not shaped like an alligator. I can prove that. I can prove that Brazil is not shaped like an egg. I can prove that the Earth is not flat. I can prove that thing. I can prove that this. I can prove that this Pez dispenser will not fall up. I can prove that this elephant will not fall up. I can prove that I am not currently looking at two, page 218 of this book. I can prove that I am not on page 218 of this book. I can prove that I am not on page 218 of this book. I can prove that I am not on page 218 of this book. I can prove that I am not on page 218 of this book. And once again, I can prove that I am not on page 218 of this book. Well, now I actually am on page 218 of this book, but you get the point. None of those five... I've kind of, But you get the point. I've proved several negatives, and I... And guess what? I also proved six more negatives throughout the course of the video. I proved that none... Of